Guitar strings will exert pressure on the neck of the guitar, trying to pull it forwards or away from the face of the guitar. With the neck being made of wood, this pressure will eventually cause it to bend, creating a bowed fretboard. A truss rod is there to provide an equal and opposite force to the string tension, therefore maintaining a straight neck. A typical truss rod will be attached at the heel end of the neck, with the other end being loose. When you tighten the truss rod, the loose end will compress and try to push against the neck of the guitar. If there isn't enough tension on the truss rod, the neck will bow forwards under the tension from the strings. This can create a high action, making the guitar very difficult to play. If you have too much tension on the truss rod, the opposite will happen and the neck will bow backwards, pulling the strings closer towards the fretboard. The strings might buzz when fretted or even not sound at all. You might think that it would be best to have a perfectly straight neck on the guitar. In actual fact, we want a very small amount of bow in the neck so that we avoid fret buzz. We call this the relief in the neck when we're adjusting the truss rod. On most guitars, you'll need an Allen or hex key to adjust the truss rod, although some might use a screwdriver. The adjustment nut will either be at the headstock or at the heel of the neck. On some guitars, like this Les Paul, the nut will be hidden underneath a cover on the headstock. Before adjusting the truss rod, you should always measure the neck relief to see whether it's actually necessary. To do this, hold the guitar in the playing position or lay it flat on a work surface. Press down on the first fret with your fretting finger on the low E string and use the thumb of your other hand to hold the string at the highest fret. You can now reach across with your index or middle finger and push the string down at the 7th or 8th fret. The distance between the string and the fret here is the relief in your neck. This method will give you a rough idea of whether the neck needs to be adjusted, but it's not suitable for taking accurate measurements of the relief. An easier way to do this, particularly if you want to measure the distance accurately, is to use a capo on the first fret. You can then measure the relief using a ruler to get a rough estimate, or for more accuracy, a feeler gauge to measure the distance between the fret and the string. A good measurement of relief to aim for on an electric guitar is 1 64th of an inch, which is around about 0.4 millimetres. You should adjust the truss rod in small increments and check for fret buzz in between each one. If you do get fret buzz after adjusting the truss rod, you may need to increase the relief or you can increase the action to counteract this. If you do need to adjust the truss rod, turn the nut clockwise to tighten and reduce the relief in the neck. Turn it anti-clockwise to increase the relief in the neck. Remember to make small adjustments and check for any fret buzz in between each one. Never force the truss rod when you're making adjustments, as any breakage can mean replacing the entire neck or the guitar itself. Once you've finished, it's a good idea to check the action and the intonation on the guitar, as both of these can be affected by changes to the relief in the neck.